In these days of satellite TV, online streaming services and huge mega screen cinema complexes, we are sport for choice of entertainment on our screens. But years ago, before the internet, DVDs and videos, if you wanted to watch the latest movies, you would go to your local cinema. As you walk around New Milton Town Centre, it is hard to believe that at one time there was two cinemas on the high street. The very first cinema in New Milton was the Scala Cinema, which was located in Station Road. The building was an ex-army wooden hut, which was probably part of the Barton-on-Sea convalescent camp during World War I. It was purchased by Mr Wilkinson, who joined forces in 1920 with Mr Scott to provide the people of New Milton and the surrounding areas with film. The movies were silent, with a pianist adding music and were shown at 6.30 every Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Memories recorded from the early days state that the seating was not tiered except for the last three rows which were padded. Patrons paid extra to sit there. It would have looked very much like the one in this image. At the front of the house was a commissionaire who dressed in a striking gold braid uniform. There was also a large and imposing man on hand to eject unruly customers. The films were brought in by van, sometimes with only minutes to spare before the listed time. Miltonians would be entertained before the main feature with cartoons such as Felix the Cat and other features such as Pathé News. A strange feature to the cinema was the projectionist would play the film from behind the screens. Sometimes it would be shown upside down. Some of the films shown at the Scala Cinema were those of Charlie Chaplin, blockbusters such as The Ten Commandments, rather racy films such as She, and also The Queen of Sheba, which starred American actress Betty Blythe, who was also known for wearing skimpy outfits. By the late 1920s, silent film began to make way for talking pictures. In 1929, the Waverley Cinema opened down the road. In order to stay afloat, the Scala housed church services, a cafe and a confectionery shop. But finally, in 1934, Scala closed its doors and in May of that year it was demolished and it was replaced with the Scala building, which is still in use today. This is what it looks like. The Waverley Cinema opened on the 5th of November 1929. It was built and owned by Mr Hayward. He lived next door at number 95. The first films shown were Number starring Harold Lloyd and also the film Love starring Greta Garbo. Many fond memories were had at the Waverley and it played a big part in many Miltonians upbringing. During the war films were shown often to raise morale. People would visit the cinema even to listen to the news which seems crazy these days. Mr Hayward sold the cinema to Mr Jack Plank. On Saturdays, children's films were shown, which were so popular that large crowds waited outside for it to open. If a technical hitch happened, kids would throw things and Mr Plank would reprimand the audience and call for silence. The much beloved sweet shop which stood beside the cinema, was replaced by a travel centre to cater to people from the 1960s. The last film shown at the Waverley was The Magnificent Men and Their Flying Machines, which was shown on the 17th of September 1972. The much-beloved Waverley Cinema was demolished in 1973. In the place of the cinema, Waverley House was built, which is sheltered housing for the elderly. This is what the area looks like today. So when you're in town now, you could envision seeing crowds of children queuing down the road to get into the Waverley, or sitting on extra special padded seats at the Scala to watch the latest Charlie Chaplin movie. 
If you've enjoyed this movie, like it by hitting that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.